Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to show you how I make the, our homemade senior dog food. Our senior is 13 years old. She's a German Shepherd and um, all of her adult life and most of her life, she has ate homemade dog food. Along the way, we have supplemented with higher quality kibble. But even the high quality kibble that we feed the dog, there are ingredients in there that we can't even pronounce. I have to Google them to even see what they are. And once I do, some of them are items or ingredients that we don't want in our dog's diet. With a homemade diet for your dog, you can source your own food so you know exactly what goes in it. And we have also, through the years, consulted with our veterinarian to make sure that the nutrients and the food that we're giving our dog is vet approved. Her diet and the ingredients that we put in her food has varied a little as she gets older because her nutritional um, needs are or they change as your dog gets older. Also, it's more economical to feed your dog homemade dog food than it is to buy it in the store. Um, and, and I won't even mention all the recalls on dog food, but I will. <laughs> Follow along with me, and I will show you the ingredients that we use in this dog food and also the nutritional values that this dog food carries for your senior dog. As dogs age, they need more nutrients to help them fight off disease. I'm going to share with you the ingredients that I use in my senior dog food and explain to you briefly the benefits of each of these. Pumpkin puree for her digestive system, we have mushrooms for her immunity, as well as broccoli and the zucchini. These also carry fiber, as well as the carrots. Um, the carrots um, also are packed with vitamin A. We have eggs. These are for protein, vitamin B, and vitamin B12. We will also be using some egg shells, which are excellent calcium, as well as glucosamine, which can help support strong bones, teeth, and joints for your dog. Turmeric, it is an excellent um, inflammation um, supplement. It improves digestive, prevents cancer, and promotes skin and coat health. Our meats that we're using in this senior dog recipe is skinless, boneless chicken thighs. This is the protein. We are using a low fat, which is the skinless. We have the salmon, which is for her omegas. This is excellent um, minerals and nutrients for the dog, as well as their skin and coat. We have the organ meat. We have chicken hearts and livers. This is a multivitamin in your homemade foods. This is packed full of vitamins A, B, D, E, as well as some of your um, trace minerals like copper and iron and zinc. And then additional protein, we are using a 90% lean ground turkey. For our carbohydrate in the senior dog food, we are using oatmeal. Oatmeal is good for her skin and her coat, and oatmeal is very easy for your dog to digest. We will be using homemade bone broth. Bone broth is excellent for their skin, their immunity, as well as strong joints. I'll link a recipe for our homemade bro um, bone broth at the end of this video. We are using flaxseed. We're using about three tablespoons here. And flaxseed, um, the omegas help to reduce inflammation, good for their skin, allergies. It's also an excellent um, boost in nutritional value for all of your homemade dog food. Also for their immunity, I am using a little bit of thyme, a little bit of sage. Now, 
with the turmeric, you've got to have a little bit of black pepper. I am using about a teaspoon here. Uh, with our low-fat meat, I've got to add a little bit of fat. I have a tablespoon of olive oil here, and I'm adding just a little bit of salt. Your dog does not need a lot of salt. We are adding about a teaspoon, and they do need salt in their diet. Guys, when I said immunity, I hope you know that I was speaking up here our immune system and not something you get immunity when you go to court, okay? We will start by preparing our vegetables. We are going to put them in a food processor to make the pieces smaller so that your dog can absorb the nutrients in it. You'll notice that I'm using the broccoli stems. We don't normally eat these here in our household, and you probably don't either, um, but they are full of nutrients, and this is a good way to use that food without having to throw it out. Now our carrots are going in. You know, dogs also have a problem with cataracts. Um, I know our Dakota, she is getting a couple cataracts, and yeah, carrots are good for your eyes and your pet's eyes. Our zucchini is going in our processor. Excellent source of minerals and fiber. We have just a few mushrooms going in. We're using portobello's. You don't want to use a lot of mushrooms. And also, you want to watch your um, dog to make sure that he doesn't have any uh, reactions from the mushrooms. Now, the reactions that he could possibly have is diarrhea. You don't want that. Even though we are adding to this um, food the pumpkin, which is good to um, firm up that stool. Now, one of my favorite ingredients to put in my dog food is turmeric. I also use this in my homemade cat food. This is um, turmeric that we have grown in our backyard. You can use powdered um, turmeric as well. Excellent for their immune system. It helps with pain, their joints, and also helps prevent cancer. Got to add a little bit of pepper so that it makes that this turmeric um, absorbable in your dog as well as in humans. Not much. I have a little bit less than a teaspoon here. I'm going to put it right in and grind it with it so that I know that it's mixed in with that turmeric well. Guys, what I have in here is my salmon. I did take the bones out that I could find, um, but I am going to grind it just in case I missed a bone. It does not get lodged in her digestive system. It also enables the um, salmon to get distributed more evenly in the dog food in the batch, okay? This is the organ meat going in. I got the hearts going in right now. Guys, you could by all means dump all of this into your large food processor. I merely didn't for production reasons only. Um, dog food's not too pretty in the first place, so um, I did want it to look a little better. It's time to get cooking. So we will start by putting our olive oil in a big Dutch oven. This is a large batch dog food. So we will put some of this in the freezer. I actually will put it in the freezer, um, most of it, and take it out weekly as we need it. Uh, now the chicken thighs go in. We have five pounds of chicken thighs here and then one pound of ground turkey. Now one of the main keys whenever you're cooking homemade dog food is your, for your dog, you do want to vary the protein sources. We will add our bone broth and then we're going to cut the burner on medium to medium high and let this meat cook for it probably take approximately 30 minutes. We are 20 minutes into the cook, and right now I am chopping up the meat some. Uh, I like my meat pieces a little bit smaller for Dakota. I'm using this little handy-dandy meat chopper that I got. I think I purchased it from Amazon for like five bucks. Um, if your dog is losing teeth or if he or she has lost teeth, you can use an emulsifier and make this into a pate. So you can still do home-cooked food for your toothless little dog. For the last 10 minutes of the cook, we're going to be adding our organ meat and our salmon. 
We will also be adding our spices. So that's our sage, our black seed. You guys know how good that black seed is. Make sure that you used a ground black seed. If you just put the flax seeds in there, it has the hard coating and your dog's not going to be able to absorb, absorb it as easily. Um, putting in our thyme, our little dash of salt, pumpkin. We're going to crack our three eggs. Um, actually, I think I'll wait just a minute before I do that. Let's get our vegetables in here. That turmeric smells delicious, guys. Tossing in our oatmeal. Our eggshells for the calcium. This is eggshells. We save our eggshells. We do buy organic eggs and we grind it up so that we have it readily available for our dog foods as well as our worm bins. So we do also um, grow worms here. We are going to put about two teaspoons in here. I'm doing heaping. I know you see that. And then you'll just stir this on in. You're going to cook this for 10 minutes. Guys, we're going to add our eggs right at the end. Lastly, you will add your eggs. Um, you can turn off your burner. Everything is done. The eggs will cook in the hot um, dog food. Um, make sure you scrape out that little membrane that is in your eggshell. This is really good collagen for your dog. This is why we do what we do. Um, this is Dakota. So say hello, Dakota. Uh -uh, not yet. Look up. This is Dakota. She is 13 years old. She will be 14 in November. And I'd like to think so. I'd like to think that the way that we fed her has enabled her health to be so good. Here it is. You want to give it a try? Take it. Good girl. Who's a good girl? Guys, check out down in the description. I have the recipe. <laughs> I have the recipe down there as well as all of the nutritional values and some good information. Um, it's information that I have learned through the years that I would like to share with you. Also, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit notifications so that you'll get all of our videos as they post. Is it sliding away from you, Dakota?